For my talk of the table, we're joined by two people who are already getting a lot of Oscar buzz for their new movie, filmmaker and TV creator, that's Lee Daniels. You know him. He's responsible for hit projects like Precious, Lee Daniels, The Butler, and Empire. His new film, The United States vs. Billie Holiday, stars Grammy-nominated singer Andrew Day. You know her, too, as the iconic jazz singer Rise Up. It explores the often untold story of her role in the civil rights movement and how she became the target of a government investigation. What is the government's problem with Billie Holiday? Why is the government always after you? My song, Strange Fruit, it reminds them that they're killing us. It reminds them. It reminds you too, Reginald. Wow, the United States versus Billie Holiday has been nominated for two Golden Globe Awards, Best Actress, that's for Andrew, and Best Original Song, also for Andrew Day. And Lee Daniels join us now both. Good morning to you both. It's so great to see you. Andrew Day, let me start with you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Lee. Let me start with you, Andrew. I was so blown away by your performance. Number one, congratulations on your Golden Globe nominations. I suspect Oscar is coming soon, but we don't want to <laughs> jinx it. We don't want to jinx it. I get that. But this is your first ever acting role. How do you even begin to prepare and then to prepare to play Billie Holiday? What was your process? Well, uh, I mean, first of all, overcoming fear. Faith had a lot to do with it <laughs> yeah. with me because I, I, I didn't want to do it at first because I was just so terrified of, of um, you know, uh, sort of dishonoring Billie Holiday's legacy and then dishonoring the great Diana Ross's legacy and Audrey McDonald on Broadway. But um, it was trusting Lee. You know, I think the very, very first step was to, um, to or one of the first steps was to trust Lee and, and um and I saw the script by Susan Lori Parks. I spoke with Lee and, and and understanding the story, which I was really happy to see as a fan of Billie Holiday, that the, the story would be really vindicating her legacy in the world um, because of his storytelling, would get to know this icon as not a tragic drug addict, mm -hmm. but actually as the godmother of the civil rights movement, which she truly was. So Yeah, she really it, was. I mean, Lee, you are certainly known for thinking outside the box, certainly known for changing things up. Was Andrew Day, you, did you look at her and think, yeah, that's my Billy? No, no. not at all. Yeah. I didn't. I had, a, <laughs> and, and nor did she, by the way, Gail. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. a couple of actresses in mind. I, I had a couple of actresses in mind, but uh, I, everybody was forcing me to, to sort of see her, and uh, I finally saw her, and uh, I found myself talking her into, uh, auditioning and because uh, she really really honored Billy and she wanted we wanted to do this right we wanted to tell the story right and she really wanted to tell the story right and once she auditioned it was a uh, it was a no-brainer it was God working Gail I'd never seen anything like it before mm -hmm. in my in my career Andrea you it's Anthony you ended up losing f almost 40 pounds yeah. for this role which I mean that's a that's a lot to go through physically and you also said you started actually drinking for this part. Why did you do that? Uh, yeah. And because <laughs> I, I hate her. her all the I time put, on the other I put side. cigarettes in her mouth. Drinking and smoking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did start smoking cigarettes as well, too. I, I, I think it was just, you know, I prayed a lot about this and I had a peace moving forward. And once I had that peace, I, I thought, okay, you know, then I'm, I'm in. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, and I, I, you know, had a peace about that. And it was because the reality is, you know, it, for, for instance, with Billie Holiday, I didn't want there to be a moment where people are like, eh, she doesn't really smoke. Because you're hard pressed to find a candid photo of this woman without a cigarette no. in her mouth. She drank a lot. And so I needed to know not just what that looked like, but I needed to, to really, really understand what it felt like in my body to be in the middle of a conversation with someone and just need a drink or to need to pick up a cigarette. And, you know, it goes back to addiction, which I think we all are, just manifests differently. But yeah. I needed to feel that. I needed to live in that space and I needed to feel her through that because I think it is a part of her story, you know, but though it's not her yeah. story, it's a part of her story. So, Lee, Andrew starts drinking, but you said for you, you decided to take a different course on this movie. What was that? Yeah, it's not really about, it's not a biopic, a typical biopic on Billie Holiday. Uh, We've done that and seen that with already no, with Lee, Lady I'm Sings the Blues. No, Lee, I'm talking about you, but, for you personally. I'm talking about for you personally. 
You were saying oh. Andrew started drinking and you decided that you were not going to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I decided I wasn't going to drink. Listen, I understand what um, Hitchcock meant at the end of the day when he says that martini shot. Because by the time you finish shooting at the end of the day, you like, you know, give me that, give me. And, um, <laughs> but uh, I, um, I have been struggling with this for a while. And uh, it was nice to finally, I think, to, to give, to do justice by Billy. I wanted to be present and clear and sober for her. And uh, it really was the hardest thing. Not, yeah. It was the hardest thing I'd ever done to, to, to sort of to give it up. Yeah. And there's a stigma mm -hmm. with uh, it's attached to addiction. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's uncomfortable even talking about it now. But I, I'm really proud of what it, what it represents to millions of Americans to, uh, yeah. to stop, mm -hmm. to stop. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wanted to chime in on what he said. I, I have to give such, it's so much credit to Lee because him being so candid about his own struggles yeah. on set. Mm -hmm. I mean, it fueled us as actors. And it's a part of why I was saying, okay, I, I mm -hmm. want to get this right, not just for Billy, but for Lee and for everybody who's struggled with this as I've seen in my family. So it really changed and motivated our performances, the actors on set. Yeah, and this, and just I think that that's what get. Go ahead, Lee. Well, I think that that's what it is that gets the performances from people. You know, people ask yeah. me, how do you get these performances from people? And I think it's just transparency and honesty. And oftentimes it, seem, it seems uh, almost as if you're a little nuts for being frank and candid about where you are in this space. Mm -hmm. But I think once actors feel comfortable with that, they sort of, they give you their all. And, uh, and I'm really happy that Andrew did. All I can and say everybody is, did. I, I'm so glad that you two trusted each other because I had never even heard of this story about Billie Holiday's life. It, and the performance, the story that you're telling, I can't wait for people to see it. Andrew Day and Lee Daniels, we thank you. We thank you both. United States versus Billie Holiday premieres next Friday on Hulu.